Oh, man, I gotta get rid of that creeper first. Did you see the creeper? Oh, gosh. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Now, now, Mr. Farmer. Don't you go dismissing the rules of the pink sheep clan. Ragnar, I have a feeling Mr. Farmer here <laughs> does not like the rules. Or at least maybe he can't read the rules. Get off the bed. It's for pink sheep clan use only. Now, Mr. Farmer, if you're going to live here, you have to live by the rules. Like my dad always used to say, or at least we had a sign when I grew up on the refrigerator that said, the golden rule. He who makes the gold makes the rules. And since I'm paying your wages, uh, oh, whatever. Okay, I don't think he understands the word I'm saying. Anyway, welcome back, everybody, to Paul Plays Minecraft 1.9. Picking up kind of sort of where we left off, although I have been doing quite a bit of enchanting here. Spent a lot of my um, experience wow. on these books. Trying to get two sharpness, which I did. And now wow. I can combine those two and get a sharpness wow. two. And then put the sharpness two on my axe here. And then get a sharpness ah. three. Got an unbreaking as well. And a power one I can put on the bow. But I'm a little short on, uh, on experience. Ah. I also went down into the ravine over here and grabbed up a little bit more iron. Because we were running low on that. Ah. But uh, beyond that, I wasn't really... I didn't really do much else so let's uh let's see what we can do right now i'm just curious how much this is going to cost this will increase our unbreaking ass i don't have enough nine but that'll give us unbreaking two on frosty ox and i'm, I'm going to change this name too i, I think i want to just change it to frostbite someone put that in the comments i really like that a lot frostbite i don't know why i didn't think of it first <laughs> anyway we're going to chuck those in here for now because there's nothing i can do with them and we have I you what you keep sighing. That's all you do is sigh. He sighs all day long. I gotta get him out of here. Maybe he just needs some fresh air. Let's make a lever. <laughs> okay, buddy, want some fresh air? I think it's okay outside. Let me go clear it first. I'm gonna bring Ragnar. Ragnar found a little perch over here. Oh, by the way, I put up some pink uh, some pink wool. I I gathered some more sacred pink wool from the sacred sheepies. Not only did I grab more... Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. you wait right there. More pink wool from the sacred pink sheepies. But I found another pink sheep. Five. That's five pink sheep. We call this one Petunia. Found her way over there. Uh, oh, there you are. So where's, there's Petunia right here. Five sacred pink sheep all found in the world. Uh, pure and um, original. And natural spawns. Pretty awesome, right? I thought so. Now, I want to... Oh, I don't have any wheat on me. Well, we don't really need wheat to tame, but... Um, it helps... It helps uh, calm the, the beasties. Let's jump on this one right here. Whoa, look at that strength on this fella! Oh, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up! Oh, he's not bucking me! Oh, this is good! Ooh! Oh, wow. I'm a better rider than I thought I was. That guy's strong! Now, I like this particular design... Ragnar, we're not going on a raid today in the long boat. Oh, well, he can just sit there and pretend. <laughs> Done raiding for a little while. <laughs> Let's check this guy right here. I love the snowflake pattern. See that? Snowflake. Viking theme. Oh, you nudged me. All right, well, this one's not quite as strong as the other one, so we're going to go with this guy over here, I think. I think there's a couple of gray with uh, snowflake pattern, too, over in that direction, but I like this brown a lot. So, well, we'll go check the other ones, too. But this guy, man, look how strong he is. Man, he's a runner. He want, he just wants to go. He's bucking me. Oh, oh, now you want to play. Hey, 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 get back here. We got him, we got him, we got him. Oh, we got him! <laughs> I'm not kidding. Oh, and he bucks me anyway. Make up your mind. Do you like me or not? I'm going to find out. <laughs> oh, he likes me. Uh, let's try you without the, the armor first. I want to see how you look at that saddle on there. Oh, oh baby. Oh my gosh, is he fast. Woo! Oh, there's the other snowflake. Right there, the gray. Two of them. But man, this guy is... This is the fastest horse I've ever ridden, I think, in Minecraft. Dude, you are awesome. All right, let's, uh, let's throw the, the diamond armor on there and have a, have a peek at him. Oh, I love it. So strong, too. So we're going to call this one Scorpa. And I wrote this down. I got that word from the Old Norse 
translation website. And I think I put the link down below to that. And Scorpa means, where is it? It's right here. Uh, cold snowstorm. And there's also Snugga, which means snowfall. And we might grab another horse another day. Maybe another snowflake pattern and call it Snugga. I was thinking snowflake, but everybody with a snowflake pattern horse probably calls it snowflake. I think the technical term is Appaloosa. Very beautiful, magnificent specimen. So let's make some hay for Scorpa here um, for healing purposes. I'll just bring two just in case. Just in case we get into trouble and Scorpa takes any damage. You want to know what would be awesome in Minecraft? Anybody? No, Ragnar, not a squeaky dog toy. Yes! <laughs> the ability to die saddles would be awesome. I heard you about the dog toys. No, that's a terrible suggestion. Uh, yeah, so if we could just die saddles, we could give Scorpa here an official, 100% officially licensed um, sacred pink sheep saddle. But sadly, this is not the case. No, enough with the squeaky dog toy idea. I'm not gonna, I'm not going to uh, to recommend that to anyone. Thank you very much. <laughs> so anyway, we have a plan to do today, guys. We're gonna head out here in a moment. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some crops. And I realize I have a farmer that's gonna be doing this for us eventually. But we're not ready to put him into service just yet. So I have a plan for him. And we'll do that in the future. But right now, I want to ride over with our new Mount Scorpa over to the village. First village we raided. And do a little trading. We're going to do some peaceful trading. No raiding today. Just trading. Raiding and trading. That's what we do. But before we do that, I think we might even be able to make a trade with a good old farmer. Mr. Farmer. Because he needs 22 wheat. And I have 22 wheat. Oh, ho. Because I want an emerald. Did huh? just, don't you, just give me the dang thing. Yeah, aha. Uh -huh. All right. Now, oh, he's so happy. Or did you just pass gas? You did, didn't you? Can you bring it outside next time? I mean, really. It's a small little hidey hole. <laughs> 18 taters, 18 carrots, and he can give me bread. Oh, look at all these trays that open up. Wait a minute, do we get all of them all at once? Oh, that's insane. I didn't know that. Oh, that's going to be perfect. You want to know why? Because we're going to head over to the village, as I said. And we are going to make a trade with the librarian. Um, I don't know how much paper he wants. We'll just bring over 45 slices for now. Uh, how did you get up there? Did you? Oh, okay, I get you. I get you. Um, I think I might sleep right now. And then we'll head over there. So, yeah, let me hop into bed. This is for pink sheep clan use only. Mr. Farmer, don't you dare get in my bed when I leave. <laughs> now, you know what? Let's let's do the carrot trade. I need, you know, wait, I got your carrots. Relax, dude. Yes. Oh, man, this is amazing. And the reason I want to do this trade, especially with the librarian, is that the librarian is going to be able to give us a name tag. Librarians have name tags to trade, but it's going to take a long time to get there. we got to make a lot of other trades first. You want to go outside, don't you? You want fresh air? That's because you keep passing gas. You better do something about that. Whew. Come on, Ragnar. Let's get the heck out of here. This guy reeks. All right, let's go. Scorp is still here. That's nice. Okay, let's roll out. So there's our little village. There's the mountain I'm thinking about maybe building a log cabin upon at the very tippity top where it will snow. So, like a true Viking, we want to be in the cold, and that's going to be a perfect spot. So, it, when it rains down here, it'll snow up there. And the other great thing about this area right here is that's all extreme hills. The bi Hi! Yes, I'm here to trade. Wow, he came right out. You're so brave. Oh, you admiring my horse? This is Scorpa. Which out he bites. Um, yeah, so the other thing is, this is great over here because we can go underground in the extreme hills and look for, um, look for emeralds to do some trading here. So, first things first, let's just get some wheat going. Excuse me. Get off the block. I got it. Thank you. All right, there we go. Now, where's the librarian? There he is. Hey, Mr. Librarian. Oh, I'm over here behind. Yes, hi. 
What you got? Oh, only two trades right now, but let's see what happens if I give you 28 papers. Mm -hmm. You like that, don't you? Whoop. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Paper cut. Oh, look at him fart. Yay. Oh, excuse me. That means he likes me. And unfortunately, I do not see a name tag. The wiki lied. Wait, let's count these because I think it's the sixth tier. One, two, three, four, five. It's the next one. So I wonder if I give you three emeralds for a bookshelf. Let's stop that. Hey. Yeah. I don't know how many trades we have to make with him. Let's. Oh man, emerald three emeralds. Uh, you like that? He does. Now, give me something good. Nope. All right. What does it take to get that final, that final uh, trade? I'm not really sure. I think we got to make a whole bunch of trades with him. I'm super happy right now. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, a clock. Give him a written book for emeralds. Okay, so glass? Really, buddy? You're going to give me glass? Okay, so maybe it's not a guarantee. Okay, well, I don't know, guys. I'm going to have to look into that some more. We can make some trades with these other fellers here. Here's the butcher. We'll get him some fresh meats. Get some more emeralds. And like I was saying, we can find emeralds here in, this ex in these extreme hills, which is something we're going to go try to do right now. We'll find a hole and jump into it. I will investigate the trade thing. Maybe we can't trade for name tag from a librarian. I was under the impression we could. At least that's what it said in the wiki. The other way to get name tags is the old-fashioned way. That's hunt them down out in the world. Um, in dungeon chests, mineshaft cart chests, and through fishing, I think. There's another one you can catch them if you're lucky. But I doubt, um, I doubt we'd find one through fishing. I think you probably have a better chance looking for one in a dungeon or a mineshaft chest. We have yet to find a dungeon or a mineshaft, which is quite sad. Oh, there's a hole right there. Let's go jump into that hole and see what we can find. Yeah, so I want slime balls so I can uh, make a lead for Scorpio here, and I can lead him around. So I'll grab a little bit of coal. We'll come back for the iron and stuff like that. I don't really need it. Oh, it's a Queepa. Come on out. I'm shooting my power one bow at him. Oh, you know, I should have put the power one bow. I should have upgraded this to power two, but... Saving my experience. Oh, man. Saving my experience for my axe. Frostbite. Ragnar, I got this. You're not so good with the creepers. Pop! There we go. Good old experience. Let's put the axe away. We're not going to need that. Let's throw some dog food in here in case he gets hurt. We can fix him up nice, nice, and quick. Oh, this is a nice hole. Ooh. Ooh, I want to go down though. Emeralds will be low. So how low can we go? Oh, oh, haha! Uh -huh. Goes through. We'll come back for that stuff, like I said. Oh, biggie. Me through here. Looks like it goes back up. You don't want to go up the hole. You want to go down the hole. Aha! 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 I found another cave. Awesome. There you are. Oh, it's so nice. To have these bats on my side. Whoa! Woo, Ragnar! Oh, good boy. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> the hole even larger. You know, you can put en uh, enchantments on your shields. Ragnar! He's so eager to go fight, fight, fight. True Viking dog. Um, we can put mending on your shield. And unbreaking. Now the mending you can't actually you can't get it through an enchantment table. You have to find it. The only way to get it is to find it. And you find it in chests, treasure chests. It's a it's it's a treasure. So just like name tags, obviously. Um, so we'll be on the lookout for mending. You know what? Let me get my dirt out right now, dude, because are you okay? 
Oh, no, you're not. Your tail's not looking so hot. There we go. And the other enchantment you can put on shields is... Oh, I gotta do something here. Um, is unbreaking on a shield, which I don't think is worth it. Unless you're loaded and you have lots of enchantments and a lot of experience. Because, frankly... Oh, man. I think I got my shield up fast enough. You can fix a shield for one experience and one block of wood. So it doesn't make sense to me to, to waste... A mending. Go get him. Go get him, Rags. There's a creeper down there, bro. Oh, man. I gotta get rid of that creeper first. Did you see the creeper? Oh, gosh. Oh, that's gonna hurt. No. Ragnar. Hey, 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 hey. Stop shooting my dang dog, fool. Oh. Ragnar, stay. Stay, buddy. Stay. Here. Oh, I can't see a darn thing down here, guys. Let's get some light on the subject. Dang, skeletons. Uh. Man, dangerous down here. Dangerous, and I put my food away to make space for Ragnar's food and everything else. Uh. Creep right in my face. I knew he was down there, too. All right, Rags, I got to eat. Oh, I thought you were a goner, buddy. It would have been terrible. Well, this is a lovely cavern, at the very least. And am I healing? Come on, heal up. Getting some good experience, too. I love the ping pong tag team thing with rags. Bang. Bang. Yeah, so I was saying I would rather save my unbreaking for, say, um, diamond gear. Well, I don't want to fool around with these guys, especially now. Stand still, fool. Sheesh. Man, that food goes right to your health quick, doesn't it? That's something I have to get used to. Oh, is that a zombie dungeon? Because that would be awesome. Just two zombies. Man, I want a name tag. All right, I'm a little discombobulated here. Let me just get some stuff ready. I don't like that water like that. And I want to be able to climb back out of here. Push over, buddy. In case we have to get out of, out of here, out of dodge fast. All right, guys. Just uh, getting a bit of a breather here. Snickers break in this relatively safe cave. It is a dead end, so nothing can sneak up on me. And I've just rearranged my hot bar. I moved the iron sword out because I'm not really using it. And I'm going to stick with the axe. It's just taking up a spot. And I've got dog food in there now. My food. And I forgot that I even had this healing potion we got from a witch at some point. So I'm going to keep my eyes on that. And the dirt for a quick building. So now I think we're ready to roll out. And continue our quest for emeralds. Oh, there's more iron. Ooh, I hear a lot of bones. Ah, that went around in a circle. Well, well, well. And I'm surprised we're not seeing any gold or emeralds at this point because we're, we're pretty low. Oh, jeez. One down. Ooh, that's a lot of skeletons. I wonder if there's a... Maybe there's a spawner. Oh, man, he's so fast. Ah. Well, they're shooting each other, which is perfect. Let's let them fight it out. I'm going to eat my potato. And it sounds like maybe there's a dungeon here? It's not like a lot of skeletons. Maybe they just... Yeah, there's just a lot of them. Hmm. Ooh, that is a lot of skeletons. Uh, hold on. Let's get some light on the subject here. Hello, guys. Uh, just passing through. Oh, jeez. Another one? Whoa, that is a lot. He's going to shoot that guy down. Did you see he shot at you, my friend? Yeah, get him. Mm. Yeah. Whew. Another one. These are all just natural, naturally spawning. And where is Ragnar? Oh, that arrow bounced right off. Did you see that, Ragnar? It ricocheted and killed him. 
Now I'm wondering if there's a skeleton spawner here. That was an awful lot of skeletons. It's a dead end. All right. Uh, all right, let me grab this. I'm going to head back up. Look where I just popped out of the ground. <laughs> I found a tunnel, followed it. It was a dead end, dug out. Actually, I heard cows, and then I dug out. And is that guy trying to get in? Yeah, he is. Let's get over here and make sure everybody's still safe. Excuse me, fella. Hey, this town is under my protection. Hit the road. Here's where I'm going to use my sword. I'm going to hang on to my axe. Save my axe for when it's most important. Those guys look safe. The librarian's safe and sound inside. That's good. All right, guys. I've got to go. I can't play anymore. My time is up. So let us reconvene in the next episode where we will continue our hunt for emeralds. I'd love to find an emerald or two here and get some trading going. I want to get that name tag if possible. I mean, maybe we'll just find a dungeon with one in it. That'll make it simple, wouldn't it? Or a uh, mine shaft. So I'm very surprised we have not found one of those yet. Ah! Man, do not sneak up on me like that. Cow. <laughs> face right in my face. Oh, sorry, creeper. I wasn't aiming for you. I was actually aiming for the chicken. <laughs> But I'll kill you too. Grab the experience. So we got all this experience now too, so we can head back to Heidi Hole and um, and get some uh, some enchanting done. We can enchant this. Put Unbreaking Two on our on Frostbite, and maybe get it, that Sharpness Two on there. Uh, sharpness Three, rather, as well. All right, let's go, Scorpo. Let's go over here. Say goodbye to the villagers, and we'll head home. I think it's safe now. Whoa. All right, guys, there's the sun. Come on out and play, everybody. You're safe. Zombies are all gone. Okay, so with that, my friends, we are going to call it quits. I'll just see you all in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.